previously we were just leaving Ibiza after a few days sailing and snorkeling all around Formentera and now we are here in Mallorca. We've both never been here before but have seen some pretty amazing pictures and heard great things so we're hoping to see some great architecture, snorkel in beautiful waters and eat some tasty food. We're heading to our home for the week in the village of Dea where we happen to be right in front of one of the most beautiful coves within walking distance to a deservingly famous restaurant. After trying all the local favorites, it was time to rest up because we have a full day of adventuring tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Fun fact, I actually designed that towel. Anyways, check out this view that I get from my bedroom. <coughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. As I was saying, the view is spectacular, but there's a lot of shade on the water still. So we're going to go downstairs and take a dip in the pool. Oh my gosh, okay. I don't know, you guys. Sometimes the view is so pretty, your brain just decides to malfunction and all coordination goes out the window, I guess. But seriously, this has got to be the prettiest place I've ever stayed in. We are in the magical small village of Dea, specifically overlooking Cala Dea, which is on the northwest side of Mallorca. We're pretty close to Valldemosa, which we'll be checking out later today after a nice home-cooked hearty breakfast. Actually, the water looks pretty perfect now, so we might go for a swim and snorkel, and then after we're done and dried off, we're gonna go into the city and check out Vaidemosa. We just ate breakfast and we're about to go for a swim. I'm scared. <laughs> now or never, huh? Caladea is known to have one of the most beautiful coves in Mallorca and has that restaurant that many celebrities visit, but I wouldn't consider it a great beach to lay out at since most of it is covered in pebbles or rocks. But if you like to snorkel or swim, you can easily spend hours here. The water in this area of Mallorca, actually all of Mallorca as I found out on this trip, is unbelievably clear. Like the visibility is amazing. Also the water is pretty salty so it makes it really really easy to float on your back or it makes it easy to snorkel and the water temperature was probably about high 70s to 80s at this time of year and it was October-ish I think. So that's probably why I was frolicking around in this water for so long. We are now in Valldemosa, an absolutely enchanting village in Mallorca with cobblestone streets and buildings that practically breathe Spanish culture. Valldemosa is like stepping into a postcard where the beauty of Spain comes alive. Valdemosa is part of Mallorca's UNESCO World Heritage Site 
and if you get a chance to visit, you have to try their local coca de patata, which is a potato roll that tastes like slightly sweet bread. While we meander through the village, you can see how truly inspiring this place can be, and even Chopin composed the song Raindrop during his stay here. We are now in Soyer, a place where history meets beauty and also has really great gelato. Every building and street has a story to tell, and it truly feels like walking through a movie set with how scenic and gorgeous everything is. For sunset, we decided to drive past the port to the lighthouse to get a beautiful view of the coast and we could watch the colors change along the mountains and it was absolutely breathtaking. Okay, this is our third day here, I think. We are going to explore Palma today. We're probably gonna check out the town center, maybe the cathedral, and uh, buy some omiyage, jump in the ocean, all the fun stuff. This is such a beautiful place to stay. It looks like a fairy tale, so very psyched to be here. Show you my room. Uh, I hung my clothes up like a little boutique which is fun look at this view this is what i wake up to is life real our pool the ocean my cute little seagull friend that is always there to greet me in the morning hello friend when the sunlight hits that pool and the ocean it makes this crazy vibrant neon turquoise and turquoise is my favorite color so it's very inviting to jump in so a morning swim is a must. We're gonna eat some breakfast and then swim, then go into town. So I will see you there. near Palma. I don't know where, nor do I care. Look how pretty it is. 
<laughs> so nice. It's funny because there's two coves. One of the coves is clothing optional, and then we came to the other cove. Yeah, we didn't want to see these. too much skin. <laughs> Not <laughs> today. No. <laughs> Not in the <laughs> Check this out. Oh, there's a person on bed. So after multiple snorkel sessions today, we are changing the vibe and heading off to the capital of Mallorca with a bit more of a city feel and to check out a historical and massive cathedral by the sea. cathedral started construction in 1229 and finished in 1601. That's 372 years total. This cathedral was also built on the foundation of an ancient mosque and the Roman walls that protected the city. How insane is that? so interesting walking around the city and seeing these ornate details from the cathedral blending in seamlessly with the rest of the city in Palma. that there was a storm that could be heading our direction so we decided to head back to Deya to have a nice quiet dinner there and we found a beautiful restaurant with even more beautiful food. I swear this trip has been the best food trip I've ever been on. Vineyard, a vineyard, and a new beach, and I am so excited because how can you not be with a food like this? This is insane. I'm not gonna wanna leave. I was getting used to holding my breath and free diving, so I was able to enjoy chasing little fish around and really appreciating this underwater world. Another thing that made snorkeling so comfortable here, besides the incredibly warm and clear water, is that there's no sharks here to worry about. At least not that I knew of. With a fresh made Oreo shake in hand, I was able to conquer my fear of heights and enjoy this beautiful lookout point at Escolomet. And 
This is one of the craziest lookout points I've been to just because of the heights and the sheer cliffs and how low the fencing seemed to be, but no one really seemed to mind, they were just kind of taking it all in. To our list of beautiful sunsets, we caught another one seaside, and I love this view because it looks like that rock fell out of that cliff, but I'm pretty sure the two are unrelated. It just kind of looks funny. Can you believe I woke up early enough to catch another sunrise? This is crazy because I never wake up that early where I live at home. But it's been a treat because the colors have been so beautiful in the morning and it's such a gentle wake up call compared to getting the sun blasted in your face. Good morning. It is another beautiful flawless day today and we are off to see some caves and explore some more kalas or what they call like these rocky beaches here and uh, yeah this is the fit of the day wearing the Mallorca green and look how beautiful it is every morning it looks like this it's crazy okay well I'll see you there bye stopped by a local farmer's market and picked up some fresh local fruit for our drive down to the caves. These caves are located in the town of Porto Cristo and they extend for almost 1,200 meters in length and reach a maximum depth of 25 meters below ground level. It felt much deeper than that when we went down the stairs though. These caves also have a huge underground lake and apparently it's one of the biggest underground lakes in the world. It was a little bit spooky, but also beautiful. At the end of the tour, they also had everyone sit in this auditorium area, turned off all the lights, and we got to watch a small concert, and it was really chilling, but really cool. Next up, we were headed to a small fishing port called Cara Figuera, which is a really cool setup because there's a walkway where you can walk in and out of all the different coves that they have. There are also a few places where you can sneak a swim if the heat was really getting to you. We did try to check out a different beach, but the wind was getting pretty intense. So we had a quick look at Calapi and saw the emerald green waters, but again, it was a little bit too windy. So we headed off for some early dinner. Good morning, it is another flawlessly beautiful day and with not much on our schedule except to relax and enjoy this incredible place. It's easy to pack a lot of adventures and sightseeing into each day when you're traveling, but it's also important to take time to appreciate your immediate surroundings. To be lucky enough to call this area our home for the week, I wanted to take full advantage of this kala and get a double snorkel session in.
There's something so serene and peaceful, but also exciting about snorkeling around these coves in Mallorca. From hidden sea caves and underwater rock formations, to never really knowing what kind of fish or how many fish you'll see on each dive, every snorkeling adventure feels like a discovery. Sometimes you're aware that you're making a core memory while you're doing so, and it's a pretty surreal but also magical feeling. We noticed from our first dives that most of the fish were accumulating in one particular area, which was right beneath the restaurant. Might have been from leftover fries or crumbs that fell off from their balcony. I'm not really sure, but we decided to swim mostly around that area for a second dive. There's my bird friend again. I think it's the same one that greets me in the mornings. We wanted to get some packing done, so we ended our evening early with a mellow sunset, a game of Scrabble, and I drew a symbol sketch in their guest book. And this is the view that I was inspired by. Good morning, it is our last day here in Mallorca. I am so sad to leave this beautiful, beautiful place, but I'm pretty much all packed up, so hopefully I have time for one more swim. If you followed along this far, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you hopefully on my next adventure. Bye!